I was just blown away by all that was already here. In many ways, we're much like a startup and have been since our beginning in 2013 when we really have to build something that didn't exist before. And we have to do it in creative, innovative ways that attracts students and attracts investment. We exist at the convergence among different disciplines, different fields of inquiry. And that's necessarily led us to develop a way of teaching, a way of thinking that is flexible and open and nimble in the way that we hope that our students' minds will be flexible and open and nimble. I was absolutely amazed that in less than 10 years, uh, Dean Rhonda Phillips and team had built a national caliber honors program with uh, top faculty, outstanding facilities. But most of all, I met over 50 students in staying here for three full days, and they were just incredible in their enthusiasm, their academic accomplishments already, and their vision of what they could learn here and what they could contribute to the world. What this gift is going to do is to allow us to do things that are bigger, bolder, and I think importantly more public, so that we're ready to build outward at this point, and this gift will support that. Having this investment will enable even more students to benefit from our innovative, transformative, experiential model of learning and those opportunities that that gives each student. That's what really excites me, that this is going to make a difference in our students' lives. He's a venture capitalist, he's a philanthropist, and he is really concerned with how to help make the future of higher education better and how to help position it in ways that can bring in some of that entrepreneurial spirit. What's great about having John come in and challenge us to do more and to grow is he's coming from outside the academy and he sees the importance and the connection of the kinds of research we do within a university and those early experiences with research that our students get. And he knows, he knows firsthand how important that is to lifelong satisfaction, lifelong success. I get the opportunity to watch the students develop from the time they enter the university until they're making their exit um, and to be a part of their development. So not just in the classroom, but preparing them as scholars, preparing them as individuals who are interested in engagement and connecting their varied interests in unique ways. Ever since freshman year, I've been surrounded with a community of great peers that have, even though we're in the same field as me, pushed me to do great things. The other way that the John Martinson Honors College has helped me is throughout the leadership involvement. Uh, currently, I'm the student director of Honors Serves, as well as the executive board of HLC, or our Honors Leadership Council. And without the Honors College being there as a support system and a structure, I would never be able to do those things. Leadership is going to impact a, a student's future because we can't accomplish the things that we want to accomplish without other people, and that's just the reality. The phrase is you can go further together, right? And we have to really learn how to work with other people and how to lead together in order to get to the places that we want to go. We've done a lot of really successful things with leadership development, but there are places where we can continue to grow by building on the success that we've already had. Uh, one of the things I'm particularly excited about is giving students increased opportunities for creating and bringing to fruition their own leadership vision. Blue Sky is all about studying and doing innovative interdisciplinary pedagogy. And it's called the Blue Sky because when we were coming up with it, we kept saying to one another, let's have blue sky thinking about this place. What would the wide open kind of thinking about what's possible be? So the idea of the center is to create and study projects that are public, collaborative, interdisciplinary, and that move the Honors College out into new networks. We had come up with this idea, this really this dream, to work with our women students who want to go into the space industry. With this gift, we are going to be bringing those students together in leadership and mentorship circles with senior professionals from NASA, with astronauts, from the space industry. What we plan to do with this program is prepare students, you know, not just for their first job, but for their big job. 
Traditionally, in a university setting, our faculty, our researchers, our instructors, they're the ones who kind of come up with those research questions, think about how to address them, and then they invite undergraduates into their labs, into their research groups, and they do great work, and they do good mentoring. What we're hoping to do is flip that script a little bit and bring undergraduates in from the beginning and say, how can we think together about what the research questions are and how can we create the right approach to answering those questions? And to think about undergraduates as uh, co-pilots, not as passengers. We are already in a globalized world, and so it's important for us to prepare our students to understand their place in that world and uh, for them to make positive contributions to that world. The Martinson gift will be very important for us to introduce new programs as well as to expand our programs. And what we hope to do is to bring the world to campus, send our students into the world so that they can experience different cultural settings, but also to facilitate what we began with intercultural exchanges and meaningful exchanges. We're at a juncture in our growth and development where an investment of this kind can really help take us to the next level. And I believe he saw that in us and we certainly wanted to partner with him. I'm very proud to be associated uh, with anything at Purdue, but especially our uh, top academic learners and all that they're going to accomplish in life. And I'm really proud to be able to uh, support that.